Hi all, this is Kusmanna. In this video, we will talk about uh, uh, likes, dislikes, and uh, opinions. So, you met your friend yesterday, and he has seen a movie. When you ask him, how was it? Then he says, okay. What is okay? We, could, we can't understand anything about uh, his opinion about the movie. And what communication is there between you and his, your friend? There is no any communication at all. That's why you have to provide some information, how was the movie, and about your like or dislike, you liked or disliked or what is your opinion on that, uh, what is the, um, uh, what a, the uh, movie about uh, the roles of the characters of the movie and the plot of the movie and how it, it should have been run. You should express your um, opinion regarding the movie so that he could understand. When you say, okay, what communication is there? So that, friends, uh, keep watching until the end of this video. You could get comprehensive information about the likes and dislikes and your opinion about that. So expressing likes and dislikes so in our conversation, in our daily routine uh, communication, we express our likes and dislikes. Uh, there are some patterns like something like doing something. I like swimming. I like how to swim. So swimming follows um, I, in ing form. That is the present participle of the verb. So here I like followed by swimming. I like how plus to infinitive is followed. Do you love shopping? I dislike wasting time in shopping. So, um, expressing likes and uh, phrases, some phrases are there. What are they? To express your like, that means how you feel in that particular uh, um, aspect. Uh, that can be expressed. Your like can be expressed in different uh, ways, in different phrases. That uh, there are several ways that uh, some uh, some people express I like, uh, and uh, some people start with I love. Some people start with I adore. I'm crazy about. Uh, I'm mad about. Uh, I enjoy. So uh, these are the ways that you can express playing. I like. I like playing tennis. I love listening to music. I adore walking early in the morning. I'm crazy playing tennis. I'm mad about doing things in the evening. I enjoy playing music. So, expressing dislike. How can you express dislikes? When you don't want to do something, when you want to express that you don't like it, then how can you say, I don't like playing tennis. I dislike uh, listening to music. I hate listening to music. I detest walking early in the morning. So, opinion. How can you express opinion? Opinion is a personal view or judgment based on fact or data or research what you have that you might have collected on the particular issue some data. You have the knowledge, full knowledge of, about that. If anybody asks you some uh, opinion regarding the issue, then how would you express your opinion? If you want to get information, you have the preoccupied mind, uh, thought in your mind, but you wanted to get information from others and how they, you wanted to know how they feel, then how can you ask opinion and how can you give your opinion, that is whether you accept that opinion or um, reject that opinion, that should be uh, in this um, video we will discuss. Keep watching until the end of the video, you will get uh, full clarity. So there are some variations. To express our opinion, some variations are there. No variation uh, matches with one person to another person in the world. Um, different expressions are there, Vari uh, varieties of expressions are there. There are no, um, uh, no uh, expression uh, is uh, same with one to another and no two people share exactly same opinion on uh, knowing how to express your opinion in English. So, this is uh, um, the way uh, when you want to ask opinion, what are the ways? And when you want to give opinion, if anybody asks you opinion, how about uh, the movie? 
how about going uh, in bus what about uh, how do you feel about uh, uh, going in the morning walk when anybody asks you then how would you give information how would you give uh, your opinion so that uh, whether you agree or disagree these are the things what we learn for example suppose you want to go to bangalore next month with your friends then you may say what's your opinion on your trip to bangalore how do you feel about talking flight taking flight how do you feel about taking flight oh it seems to be more expensive that's true when you agree with the statement your counter speaker you say that's true that is a positive reply agreement with the uh, statement which is given by your counter speaker when you want to uh, disagree with him there are several ways that you can express i don't agree with you like that so asking opinion what are the ways that you can ask opinion to the people what do you think of sert spoken english online classes what are your thoughts on sert spoken english online classes how do you feel about sert spoken english online classes what's your opinion on sert spoken english online classes so these are the ways several ways there are more ways also but uh, what i feel what i believe that uh, these are the common expressions that they are enough to develop communication between the people and uh, that's why i chose these four um, phrases these these are very often used and convenient used to with the people so when asks when it is they are asked then giving opinion how can you give opinion your opinion i think you can start like i think so and so i guess something i know i believe so when you say uh, think uh, or guess when you say think or guess when you say think think is used uh, to talk about uh, um so think is used when uh, when you have no any preoccupied uh, thought in your mind guess uh, both think and guess are same similarly no any there is no any difference between these two expressions i know means when you say when you have something in your mind some knowledge is there preoccupied knowledge is there so that you can strongly uh, say that i know and uh, there is a weight and uh, there is a um, uh, weight uh, between i think and i guess bit and i know and i believe is you strongly believe that because you have the data you have full information you can confirm that particular issue and you so, so that you can say i believe so it's, it seems to me the, i see uh, it seems to me that is also possible as far as i am concerned so that you strongly believe that you have uh, the information full data and authentication is there so that you can say that i think i think sert spoken english classes enhanced our communication skills so this this can be expressed uh, in different ways that uh, i think and i guess these are the order of priority and uh, the weight of uh, giving your opinion and uh, um, the value of giving your opinion that uh, uh, these are orderly uh, mentioned here and uh, giving opinion some more phrases are there and uh, i am giving here in my opinion or in my view that uh, the difference between i uh, i think and i guess there is a good weight is uh, and uh, it is there is a strong a strength is there between that statement and this statement uh, i i think i i believe between i believe here i believed is used and here i personally believe is there i personally believe means it is not uh, general it is not general it is not the others opinion and uh, i am not uh, um relying on others opinion and i personally believe and i personally think uh, and according to me for me it is uh, only for your uh, expression and it is only what you got the information that is uh, said to be here and sert i in my opinion sert spoken english classes enhanced our communication skills in english that can be expressed and giving opinion how can you give your opinion there are several phrases that you can give your opinion and uh, 
here are uh, here are some phrases uh, suggested and there may be some different and uh, number of phrases are there but uh, are the most common and uh, most easy and convenient for communication I am suggesting here and I think he is a bad boy you observe here I think he is a bad boy the difference between I think he is a bad, bad boy and I don't think he is a good boy what is the difference between these two it is a strong expression that uh, it is directly express, expressed and uh, there is a uh, soft and polite way of it. the same concept can be delivered with uh, I don't think he is a good boy so uh, this this is the direct direct expression that uh, too strong and uh, uh, I don't think his good boy is a very polite and a very soft touch uh, that uh, you're giving your opinion and as far as I know and as far as I'm concerned these are the two more expressions that you personally express that uh, whatever the knowledge you have about that information that uh, more about your knowledge and more about your feelings you can use I'm concerned more about knowledge you can use I know like that so agreeing what agreement uh, when anybody uh, gives you um, gives some information or opinion and how do you feel how do you agree with that I agree with you and I think so it's true or uh, that's true I really think so I totally agree with you these the four uh, these uh, three expressions that is I agree with you and uh, I um, uh, I think so and I it's truly uh, that's right these are the general expressions in general you can say and pe what people usually believe uh, what people usually accept that that you can express the same thing when you say I really uh, think so there is a stress and emphasis on that um, uh, that you are totally agree with you that means there is a strong agreement uh, between these two and e mode expressions dwara manam everyone of opinion adiganapadu మన ఒక ఒపీనియన్ ఎవరైనా మనకు చెప్పినప్పుడు మనం ఆ ఒపీనియన్తో ఏకీభవించవచ్చు లేదా ఇది ఒపీనియన్ కరెక్ట్ కాదని చెప్పొచ్చు ఏకీభవించినప్పుడు డిజగ్రీ అయినప్పుడు ఎగ్రీయింగ్ ఎగ్రీయింగ్ అయినప్పుడు ఐ అగ్రీ విత్ యూ అని అంటాం లేదా ఐ థింక్ సో అంటాం ఇట్స్ ట్రూ అంటాం అంటే వాళ్ళ ఒపీనియన్తో మనం ఎగ్రీ అవుతున్నట్టుగా ఇంచుమించుగా జనరల్గా అందరూ ఇలానే ఎగ్రీ అవుతారని చెప్పేది జనరల్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఐ ఐ రియల్లీ థింక్ సోలో కొంత ఎంఫసిస్ ఉంది కొంత స్ట్రెస్ ఉంది కొంచెం ప్రెస్ చెస్ చెప్తున్నాం ఒక స్ట్రాంగ్ అగ్రిమెంట్ నేను దీంతో నీతో ఎక్విస్తున్నాను అని చెప్పడానికి ఐ రియల్లీ థింక్ సో అని అంటాం సో డిజగ్రీయింగ్ ఎట్లాగా అంటే ఒక అభిప్రాయాన్ని ఎవరైనా చెప్పినప్పుడు దాంతో మనం ఏకీభవించినప్పుడు దాన్ని దాన్ని వ్యతిరేకించినప్పుడు దాన్ని ఎట్లాగో ఒక సాఫ్ట్ కార్నర్లో అంటే అవతల వాళ్ళని హర్ట్ చేయకుండా కమ్యూనికేషన్లో ఎప్పుడు కూడా వీ షుడ్ నాట్ హర్ట్ ద అదర్ పీపుల్ అదర్వైజ్ ద కమ్యూనికేషన్ విల్ బి బ్రేక్ డౌన్ సో దట్స్ వై ద కమ్యూనికేషన్ షుడ్ లీడ్ ఇన్ ఏ ఇన్ ఏ ఫ్రెండ్లీ మేనర్ దట్స్ వై యూ షుడ్ నాట్ డిజగ్రీ బై హర్టింగ్ అదర్ పీపుల్ సో దట్ ఆ డిజగ్రీయింగ్ అన్నది ఎట్లాగ అవతల వాళ్ళని బాధ పెట్టకుండా హర్ట్ చేయకుండా వాళ్ళు ఈ బాధపడకుండా ఎంత సాఫ్ట్గా మనం ఒక ఒపీనియన్ని డిజగ్రీ చేయొచ్చో ఇందులో మనం చూద్దాం ఐ డోంట్ ఐ డోంట్ ఎగ్రీ విత్ యూ వెన్ యూ సే ఐ డోంట్ ఎగ్రీ విత్ యూ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ వెరీ స్ట్రాంగ్ డిజగ్రిమెంట్ ఐ డిజగ్రీ విత్ యూ ఆల్సో ఎ స్ట్రాంగ్ డిజగ్రిమెంట్ ఐ డోంట్ థింక్ సో ఐఎమ్ ఏ ఫ్రెండ్ దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ క్వైట్ ట్రూ ఇది కూడా మనం చెప్తే కొంచెం సాఫ్ట్గా ఉంటుంది ఐ ఎమ్ ఎఫ్రెడ్ యు ఆర్ ట్రూ యు ఆర్ రైట్ బట్ యు కెన్ సే లైక్ దట్ ఐ డోంట్ ఎగ్రీ విత్ యూ ఐ డిజగ్రీ విత్ యూ కొంచెం స్ట్రాంగ్గా డైరెక్ట్గా నెగేషన్ని తెలియజేస్తాయి ఒక స్టేట్మెంట్ని ఒక ఒపీనియన్ని అది అవతల వాళ్ళు కొంచెం వెంటనే హర్ట్ అయ్యే అవకాశం ఉంది సో ఐ ఎమ్ ఎఫ్రెడ్ దట్ ఈజ్ దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ that is not quite true gaani like pote it is uh, it, you are right mer cheppindi correct e kaani ani cheptu manu add chesinatlaite avathalu vallu kontha convince ayya avakasam undukanaga idoka communication skill ga manam teskoni matladali so what do you think of working men and women in all category of jobs so a ask that so b says i personally think that they should be given equal priority so a i totally agree with you this is the positive agreement full agreement with b 
So, uh, A also on the lines of B, so that uh, we need not worry about. That. When A does not accept B statement, then how can he negate that? So, I am afraid that uh, that is not quite true. I am afraid that is not quite true. So, um, friends, uh, today we learned uh, what are the likes and dislikes and uh, what are the opinion, how can you ask opinion and how can you give your opinion and uh, whether you agree or disagree, these are all this co come under communication skills and uh, today I am giving you some homework, I am giving you five topics here, social media and uh, express your opinion about uh, science and technology and express your opinion about uh, existence of God and express your opinion, how do you feel about uh, online classes for students and uh, what's your what uh, what do you personally believe that uh, public education system i am giving you five topics uh, and uh, you select one or two topics and uh, drop your text your message in the uh, message uh, section uh, below uh, message section below in this video and uh, i will attend to you um, and you, if you, you answer these uh, things uh, thank you very much uh, for um, watching my video if you like it uh, share it and subscribe the channel and uh, bye now thank you so much